Some elementary functions simply do not have antiderivatives that are elementary functions. If you need to evaluate a definite integral involving a function whose antiderivative cannot be found, then while the fundamental theorem of calculus is still true, it cannot be easily applied. In this case, it is easier to resort to an approximation technique such as the trapezoidal rule. This figure shows how the rule is used. In the development of this method, assume that f is continuous and positive on the interval a to b. So the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx represents the area of the region bounded by the graph of f and the x-axis from x equals a to x equals b. The interval a to b should be parted into n subintervals, each of which delta x is equal to b minus a over n, such that a is equal to x sub 0 less than x sub 1 less than x sub 2 less than so on and so forth, which is x sub n is equal to b. Then form a trapezoid for each subinterval. The area of the ith trapezoid is f of x sub i minus 1 plus f of x sub i over 2 times b minus a over n. Here is a representation of the area of the first trapezoid. This implies that the sum of the areas of the n trapezoids is b minus a over n times f of x sub 1 minus 1 plus f of x sub 1 over 2 plus so on and so forth which is equal to f of x sub n minus 1 plus f of x sub n over 2. Then we simply bring down the rest, giving us f of x sub 0 plus f of x sub 1 over 2. And it is f of x sub 0 because we have the f of x sub 1 minus 1 giving us 0. Then we simply bring the rest down. Then we are able to move the 2 out, giving us b minus a over 2n. Which leaves us with f of x sub 0 plus f of x sub 1. Then, if we continue the formula, we get f of x sub 2 minus 1, which is, which is when reduced is f of x sub 1. But we must also, we cannot forget the f of x sub n, which would be f of x sub 2. Then of course we just bring the rest down. We are able to combine those two f of x sub 1s, giving us, once we bring everything down, 2 f of x sub 1. Then continuing the formula, we would wind up with 2 f of x sub 2 as well. Then we bring down the rest without forgetting to put the 2 in front giving us 2 f of x sub n minus 1 plus f of x sub n. Then we, sim we finally end up with the integral of a to b of f of x dx is approximately b minus a over 2n times f of x sub 0 plus 2 of f of x sub 1 plus 2 of f, f of x sub 2, and so on and so forth, or it can be written, rewritten as 2 of f of x sub n minus 1 plus f of x sub n. Now let us apply the rule to a problem to see it being used. Our problem is going to be the in approximating the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 over the square root of 1 plus x cubed dx, which n is equal to 4. So we begin by graphing the 1 over the square root of 1 plus x cubed from 0 to 2. We wind up with this line segment. We're going to be, we, are, we are going to try to find the area underneath that line segment. So we must first find delta x, which is equal to b minus a over n. So we plug in b minus a over n, giving us 2 minus 0 over 4, which can be reduced to 2 over 4, which can then be reduced to 1 half. This gives us our intervals from in our graph, making it 0, 1 half, 1, 3 halves, and 2. Then we can begin our problem. So we begin with b minus a over 2n, which is 2 minus 0 over 2 times 4, times 1 over to the square root of 1 plus 0 cubed, which is our x sub 0, 
then we plug in into our x sub 1, which is 2, and then 1 over the square root of 1 plus 1 half cubed, plus our x sub 2, plus our x sub 3, and finally our x sub n. So once we do a little reducing, we end up with 1 fourth times our x sub 0, which is 1, plus 2 times 0.942, which is our x sub 1, plus 2 times 0 0.707, which is our x sub 2, plus 2 times 0.478, which is our x sub 3, and finally 1 third, which is our x sub n. So once we do a little bit more reducing, we wind up with 1 fourth times 1 plus 1.884 plus 1.414 plus 9.56 plus 1 third. Then we can reduce yet again, giving us 1 fourth times 5.5873. And finally, we wind up with our approximation of 1.397. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.